Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha ala, kohaloyim la, yahweh, bahashim yahwashai, bahashim, bakahakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say the water to all the Akiyam Nakwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahwashai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty gruesome one right here, man, with that judgment is going out in the earth. It says, um, and it'd be some some crazy stuff be going on, and I guess throughout the U.S., but Florida, yeah, they definitely be having a lot of crazy shit going on. But um, it says Florida man burned wife alive in a horror attack after argument over air conditioning. It says, uh, what started as an argument over the temperature in the family home ended with a man allegedly lighting his his wife on fire in an explosive display of rage. Robert Head, 58, was allegedly unhappy with how warm it was in the family's um, Williston, Florida home, demanding that his wife turn the air conditioning up. When she refused, it seemed to be his last straw. It says, um, the daughter who was in the house at the time said, Robert ran outside, grabbed a pot, filled it with gasoline and said, According to the affidavit, if we're going out, we're going out together. I told you I ain't never leaving you. Crazy, bro. Then they have another story right here. It says, boy 15 accused of deleting Texas woman, 62, found stabbed to death in a shed behind her own home. Oh, uh, boy. It says, then he threw the pot of gasoline all over his wife and tossed a flaming piece of paper on her. Um... It says um, she scorched everything around her, including her daughter, the affidavit states, who ran out of the home at that moment. The fire rescue was reportedly called to the property um, approximately 7.48 p.m. on Thursday, where they discovered a portion of the, ho the home ablaze. They quickly discovered that a woman was inside and raced, raced in to help her, but realized she was already deleted. When the police arrived, the fire rescue team told the cops that they suspected Robert has set the fire. The cops found him hiding in a dog kennel, <laughs> clutching the machete as he told them he was going to harm himself. They were able to take him to into custody. The daughter described uh, the, their relationship as fraught, as she said, they always argued, according to the affidavit. David, she admitted the home was warm when she came home that fateful night or fateful Thursday. She, she had been living with her mother for about two years. The affidavit states the home's temperature was reportedly a frequent argument between the two. But this time he called his wife names, including calling her a broke, I guess, biatch. The affidavit said, and as he went to grab the pot of gasoline, Robert was allegedly smiling. And it's a spirit of vengeance, man. After being read as Miranda writes, Robert allegedly admitted to setting her on fire and said he had done it because he'd grown so upset over his wife's defending her daughter during arguments they had since she moved in with them. He reportedly had a machete and was planning on taking his own life before the cops arrived. When asked, the defendant stated that he deserved to um, die for taking the life of the victim. Okay, so one of the nephews said that she was, um, the lady was very blunt, but that she was very caring. You know, man, a lot of back and forth, the talks, the arguments, loud mouthness you know that's a that's an american thing here you know amongst um a lot of women this guy probably is just like that other guy that deleted his wife on her birthday he said he just got tired of her yelling at him you know so a lot of that goes on man still gotta you know watch your temper or whatever but the scriptures talks about uh anger rests up in the bosom of fools you know um you have to um you know guard your spirit you know what i'm saying Uh, okay, yeah, of course, you know, the daughter, she going through a few couple of things. Uh, he's in jail without bond, facing charges of first degree, murder and arson. Okay, so yeah, man, there's a lot of stuff going on out here, man. But let's grab a couple of scriptures. First off, let's get that spirit of vengeance. We already here, I think. Uh, let me see. So, Lockyer. Yeah. 
Uh, Ecclesiasticus 39. Twenty-eight, and it says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their their force, and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire, see that's a, that's a spirit that was created for vengeance. And hell, and famine, and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So those spirits of vengeance, man, they get their orders and they go they go forth rejoicing, you know, and, and handle that business, man. So yeah, we're living in the last days, man. Things are getting, you know, pretty crucial out here. That's why I mentioned this Matthew, too. And let you know um, the time period that we're in, because this is one of the things that, the, um, you know, when the disciples ask the Lord what will be happening in the end days, this is one of the things that the Lord mentioned. Just he said that will be happening before he, he comes. Matthew 24 and 12, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. See, matter of fact, let's get verse three because they, they asked him. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us. When shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Right? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So, and that's the true name of the, the Lord. You know, we have to point that out. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai. It's not Jesus. The true name of our Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists, or the existing one. And the true name of the Son, again, is Yahweh Shai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And he's coming soon because the things that he spoke of are happening right here. He says, um, for many shall come in my name. Verse five, Matthew 24 and five. For many shall come in my name, said I am the anointed or Christ. They have Christ, but we say Mashiach in the Hebrew and shall and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet for nations shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And all these things are happening, man. All these things are happening. Let me go on to the blue letter real quick, because that, that's kind of crazy, bro. Because, uh, you know, like, damn, you... <laughs> he, he just went out and just grabbed... I mean, it, it, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a spirit, man, that got on that guy, man. He probably sitting in his ass, he's sitting his ass in jail, wondering, like, well, what the hell came over me? People ask themselves that stuff all the time, man, when they do stuff. Would that be a spirit, man? Okay, so let's get, um, I wanted to just grab a couple of them on. I went into a lesson on this yesterday. Talking about being slow to anger. Because he could have just got away, man. He should have just went for a damn walk. Uh, Proverbs 15 and 18, it says, A wrathful man stored their strife, but he that is slow to anger repeats his strife. He should have just went for a walk, man. If it was that serious, he had to go get the damn gas. It says, um, Proverbs 16 and 32, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. See, yeah, that ruling your spirit, man, goes a long ways, bro. Like for real, for real. You know, we all make mistakes, you know, get a little angry. You know what I'm saying? But again, you know, we have to be growing. And it's truth. That's what I was mentioning yesterday. And there's one lesson we got to continue growing and, you know, praying, you know, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will help us in those areas. Because, yeah, that, that that's a real, because matter of fact, that scripture, it says that it, uh, well, to be angry and sin not as well. But uh, I think it's Ecclesiastes. Where it talks about anger resting in the bosom of fools. I think that's Ecclesiastes. Yep, it's Ecclesiastes 7 and 9. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, right? For anger resteth in the bosom of fools. You don't want to be all quick to get mad at just anything, man. People just pushing your buttons, you know. Now, uh, I'm not sure how long they were together, but shit, man, sometimes yeah, you just got to go for a walk or just... <laughs> you just got to get away, man. Sometimes you got to go take that breathing. You know, when they say count to 10, or whatever, whatever you got to do. You know, but you definitely don't want to um, get to a point of being like this, man. Like, God damn, 
And this your wife. This the woman that, you know what I'm saying, that, that bore your daughter. They didn't say anything about a son, you know. This the, the, the woman that bore your child, man, your children, whatever, man. You go, damn, just think about that. That love of many wikes and coal. Matter of fact, that's, um, we can get these things right here would also be happening too right here that the Lord spoke on. It says um, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, and it's entitled, Difficult Times Will Come on the KJV side, King James Version. In the NLT, it says the dangers of the last days. See? So verse 1, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. See? Truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, man. Let me read that, that one in the NLT. The New Living Translation, it says, they will be unloving and unforgiving. They will slander others and have no self-control. See? They will be cruel and hate what is good. That, that's no self-control right there, man. To that length, I mean, when you think about that, this dude had to get up and basically go to the garage and get some damn gasoline. And then it says that he um he lit a piece of paper. I didn't read it all. Let me see it because I think I might have missed some of it. Skip some. But you get the point. Let me see here. Yeah, he hiding his ass on a damn dog kennel with a, with a machete. <laughs> Talking about he's going to harm himself. Yeah, said he was smiling when he grabbed the, um, the, the, uh, the pot of gasoline. So, you know, they, yeah, they, they had a, um, a, 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 a probably a messed up relationship even before they even got married. Yeah, I had seen a part in there where it talked about how he done it. Um, but anyway, the point is made. I mean, you know, hey, you know, we have to be very careful with with you, people piss you off like that. Just take a walk, man. You know, some people you just already know. You you know, you just kind of like ah, you got them family members that you got. You know, you got those. You know, you just know people that's just like man. Every time I kick it with them, <laughs> I used to I used to uh, deal with a, a brother like that, man. Every time you know it used to just it, it would always turn into. Uh, a, a super argument, man. It was all, always debating on something. It was just always something to that extent. And I just got to a point where I'm like, man, I can't even be around this guy. Sometimes you got to just disconnect from people, man. But yeah, he should have went for a walk, though, because this shit is crazy. <laughs> Golly, bro. I mean, come on, dog. Ma, 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 ma. You know, burn your damn wife up. She was that bad. But the nephew said she was very blunt. But she was very nice. She was very caring. She was very supportive. Yeah, man, that's kind of cold there, boy. And, of course, you see all these other stories, you know, um, just story after story after story. It says chilling CCTV footage of last moments of teacher um, deleted by ex-mother-in-law. Florida man drops child from hotel balcony after telling mom he wants to scare him a little. <laughs> Damn Esau, bro. Florida woman in uncontrollable rage drives car over man holding six-month-old baby. See that? And this look like an E. Yep, with the blonde hairdo. That says it all. With them, them black-ass lips. Yeah, man, people don't, you know, people, they losing it, man. Father waits for his daughter's attacker outside of a courtroom and gets his own justice. Florida man dropped four-year-old head first off second-story balcony after drinking with boy's mom. Woman accused of groping young men, young boys at pool claimed she was saving herself from drowning. Saving herself from drowning. Anyway, man. Woman um, stabbed, doused with gas gasoline, set on fire in home, doing fight with husband. 
See, these are people. These are these are a lot of this stuff is domestic, man. People that you know. So just think when 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 shit really gets bad. It says man shot dead. Two teenage sisters after dad caught him hiding in bedroom. Screams heard as three women deleted in quiet suburban. Man, look, bro. You got to be circumspect out here, man. Watch yourself. Yup, yup. Says 15-year-old. 15-year-old found bound to a tree with ratchet straps and carpet to sleep on. Psh. Cruel place, man. So, yeah, yeah, I just wanted to just touch on this real quick, man. You know, you got to be slow to anger and, you know, shit, just get the hell away from people sometimes, man. If you're feeling like you, you know. Just to go for a walk. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with going. If they get, if they pissed about you going for a walk, then fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, man, they just want to, they just want to argue, man. Some people are just like that. They just have that, that spirit of arguing on them, man. It's, it don't make no difference what the talks, the talk is about. You can, you can start off with a, a simple high, and 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 next thing you know, it's it's then escalated into, you know, a bunch of mfs. <laughs> Son of a bees and, you know, whatever, whatever, man. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to just touch on this for a hot sec. You know, be circumspect. Uh, yeah, just watch yourself, man. And, you know, like I said, again, you know, one of those things we should be growing on, growing on or growing in is um, our spirit, being in the spirit, staying in the spirit, keeping our, you know, our spirit intact. You know, not letting everything just um, ruffle us up, man. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I'm going to end out there. Pray that the lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashallah.